Hello everyone and welcome back to some more me being chased around by a couple of Tauros. The last time we were on our way to the beach to try and get some water type Pokemon to fight against Team Star but oh my we are being chased. There's no holding back anymore. We gotta fight this special looking Taurus. It is a Paldean Taurus. Let's go for a Thunder Wave and see if we can halt it in its tracks. That's a Thunder Shock. It's paralyzed anyway. Everything is coming up all daisies for me. Um, let's do another Thunder Shock. Yeah, these Tauros come in hurts and they hurt as well. Get it? Alright, we still have a chance to capture it though. Let's go for Mimigul. Mimigul has some serious defensive power, so... While it isn't the strongest one defensively... It'll stand against those double kicks from these Tauros. Oh, that is really weak, oh my gosh. Alright, anyway. Great ball, let's see if we can just do it. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, phew. Tauros was caught. Let's read up all about this new form. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. A fighting type, Paldean form. This Pokemon has a muscular body and excels at close quarters combat. It uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spots. Alright, now apparently there are different forms that are exclusive to both Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I have yet to find these Pokemon, uh, these forms to be very honest. And I feel like they may be just hidden within the regular Pokemon. That's the wrong button. So, I was going to try and look around a little bit to see if I can spot a couple of them. I'll also just use this to heal up our Palmy. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll try and keep my eye open to see if I spot one. The, they should all spawn around here. Also, if you're trying to train up some Pokemon, using Go Mode against these Taurus is very useful. They give a lot of experience points. So, if you spot an area where they spawn... Then I say definitely give it a go. Alright, there's been a few new Pokemon we've seen so far we could catch, but like I said, I wanted to get to that beach because that's where I said we could go. Sorry, Mr. Sunflora. We have a date with a beach to catch a water type Pokemon to use against Team Star. Alright, there's a Marini over there. Hello. Oh, <laughs> look at him. All right, let's use Thunder Wave. Oh, it has Limber. It can't be Thunder Waved. Use Poison type moves as well, naturally. Uh, will it live one Thunder Shock? Probably. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, good job on the crit, but next time let's wait with that, okay? There's a little birdie over there. Hello. This is Wattrill! It's a flying and lightning type, electric type. It is adorable. I really like Wattrill as well. It does evolve once, and I really like the Pokemon that comes out of it too. We shall definitely catch it. If anyone would like to have this on the team, then definitely comment down below, because I will be more than happy to add Wattrill to the team. Let's throw a ball and catch it. One, two... Three. Oh, come on. You know you gotta be friends, Wattrill. Also, the, uh, the Taurus is just sitting there. He's just sitting there. Menacingly. Let's go, Grey Ball. Two. Three. Ah, yeah, there we go. I really like the floating Pokeball. It looks so nice. Alright, let's check it out. Wattrill, the Storm Petrol Pokemon. When its wings catch the wind, the bones within produce electricity. This Pokemon dives into the ocean, catching prey by electrocuting them. Quattrill is a nice Pokemon. I really like looking at it. I would definitely... Oh, jeez. Hey, Tauros. Yeah, these guys just straight up charge at you whenever. Even when you're in the middle of a battle, they'll mostly just charge at you and try and get you while you're fighting. And Chancellor will catch you by surprise. 
All right, run away. Okay, phew. Man, these things are dangerous. There's a Nakli over there, another, another magic card. What level are you, boy? Excuse me, level 22. You know, if I catch this one and evolve it, Gyarados is sure to be a very powerful partner. Let's go for Thunder Wave. Only one level up is required as well, because they usually evolve at level 20. Do I need to damage it? I think it's fine. I mean, Magic Arb is just a Magic Arb. Let's go. One... Two, three. Oh, come on, Magikarp. Well, maybe just one little bite. I'm sure that will be fine, right? Chompy. All right, that did the trick. Now we should be able to catch it. Let's go for the Great Ball. Ooh, a critical capture. Alright, very nice. And Tanamar's leveled up too. Underpowered, pathetic. Oh, you'll see. You'll see just how underpowered and pathetic this Pokemon is. Okay, we'll put it in the party over here. Now, like you've been seeing, there is a whole lot of new Pokemon that I may have even skipped over. We're gonna catch all of them. I will cut to every moment where we get the Pokedex entry so we can read it out. And after that, we are setting out towards the next objective. Which should be right around here. So we'll move to the Pokemon Center first and then go over to the Star Badge right there. Alright, let's get catching! We caught a Sandy Gas, the Sandy Pokemon. If it loses its shovel, it will stick something else, like a branch, in its head. To make do until it finds another shovel. We caught a Shellos, the sea slug Pokemon, East Sea Form. A recently published research paper states that this form of Shellos is gradually decreasing in number. Oh, that sounds pretty bad. Save Shellos, hashtag save Shellos, everyone. Crabrawler was caught as well, the boxing Pokemon. This Pokemon punches trees and eats the berries that drop down. Training itself and getting food at the same time. I do like efficiency. You're alright, Crabrawler. We captured Marini, the brutal star Pokemon. This Pokemon wanders the seaside looking for food. It often gets electric shocks from broken pinkers and spikes that it tries to eat. Aw, oh, come on, don't put anything you find in your mouth, Marini. That's not good. Lit Leo, the Lion Cup Pokemon, was caught as well. When Lit Leo are young, female Pyro will teach them how to hunt. Once the Lit Leo mature, they will leave the pride and set out on their own. Well, you found a new proud li pride, Lit Leo. We also managed to find a summer form for Dealing, the seasoned Pokemon. To prevent Dealing from entering their fields, Many farmers will have several lichen rocks and guard, as they are the natural enemy of Deerling. Wow, usually you find like people trying to keep the wolves out of their farms, but I guess we're employing them here now. We spotted a Skiploom, the cottonweed Pokemon here as well. Skiploom enthusiasts can apparently tell where a Skiploom was born by the scent drifting from the flower on the Pokemon's head. I guess there's all kinds of enthusiasts or all kinds of Pokemon, huh? Caught a Murkrow. That was giving me a little bit more trouble than I bargained for. The Darkness Pokemon. It is feared and loathed by many. It is believed to bring misfortune to all who see it in the night. Well, we saw quite a few of them, so let's hope this night doesn't get any worse, shall we? Corvusquire, the Raven Pokemon, was also caught. It is said that the reason behind Corvusquire's high level of intelligence is the large size of its brain relative to those of other bird Pokemon. A little smarty pants, aren't you? Well, welcome to the team, Corvusquire. Okay, so as I was looking around for some of the new Pokemon to capture, I looked into this raid battle. 
and I saw a brand new Pokemon that I haven't shown off before, and I think we're going to go check it out together because, oh my god, I love this Pokemon so much. <laughs> it's simply amazing. Uh, it's a fire type. I do have a Gyarados, but he doesn't have any water attacks. Can I actually just make him relearn something? Uh, let's see. I need to get out of this menu for a moment, for a hot moment. Because a new feature in this game is that you can, just like in Arceus, uh, let's see. Remember old moves. There we go. Waterfall. One of the most powerful water type moves that Gyarados can learn. It can just relearn it right now. So goodbye to Splash and hello to Waterfall, am I right? <laughs> uh, we can maybe do a couple more. Let's see, with Twister, uh, Whirlpool. I say Ice Fang is a pretty good move to have around. Yeah, let's replace Tackle for that one. One, two, and ta-da, there we go. And you can do that for any and all Pokemon you have, even ones you just caught. So if you want to get back Revival Blessing or Spark, Spark is actually a pretty good move for Palmas, actually. <laughs> so we're gonna relearn that. It's not a bad idea to just check back and see what you might have missed accidentally, <coughs> or what moves they just learned on their own. So yeah, okay. Now that we have a good move on Gyarados... Sorry, I thought I saw something back there. Is it just asleep or is it a special thing? Okay, it's just asleep. Right. You never know with these Pokemon. Okay, uh, we'll change your Pokemon to Gyarados. And we are challenging this strange new looking Pokemon. Oh, it looks a little bit familiar, doesn't it? Will you look at that? Come on, everyone. One of these four doesn't belong. <laughs> this is Toad School. It's... It, it's basically the same as Wigglets, where it's like totally not a tentacle. But it's just a Paldean tentacle. Let's call it like that, okay? Let's use Waterfall and... Wow, well, okay, that was fast. Holy moly. <laughs> well, that's that. Let's throw a Pokeball. And we'll use our Premier Ball. Alright. Let's go! That's all she wrote. Toad School. We got some Toad School flaps, some candies, all kinds of good things, naturally. I bet you can't wait for us to read the thing, huh? The, the Pokedex entry. Let's check it out. Toad School. The Wood Air Pokemon. Toad School live in muggy forests. The flaps that fall from its body are chewy and very delicious. So yeah, they made Tentacle a ground and grass mushroom of some sort. And I love it. I can't help but love it. I'm gonna... Oh, it's right here. Level 12 only. Yeesh. It is so cute. Just look at it. Mega Ray, Sunspore, Mudshot. Let's keep it around for, for, for a little bit. It's... Really cute. I think I've managed to get most of the new Pokemon. I've shown off where I've caught them. And it's time for us to move on. There's a few trainers I can battle off camera. Um, I saw a couple back there. I was really trying to find a Blaze Breed Tower. It's actually in between recording sessions. I, I, I recorded this episode in like two sessions. Because I was just always looking around for that Pokemon. And apparently, according to what I could find online... There is another chance to find them over, way over here, and it's like much easier to get them. So I think we'll do it over there in that case, because I would really love to see one. I haven't actually seen one myself. I've seen it online naturally, but I have sadly have yet to see it in the actual game. Man, there's a lot of trains here. I bet there's one of those people over here where we can say like, oh, battles. Alright, what do you have to say? 
How many battles do we need to do? So far, you've defeated zero. Once you defeat five, you'll get a lovely prize. I might do that in a bit. I am unsure how far I am with the episode. <laughs> because I've been recording in so much. I think one is like 50 minutes and this recording is like 36. What's in here? I think that's a Silicobra. Uh, I'll defeat that real quick. Alright, now that that's done, I think we're going to end the episode here. I'm not sure how big the final episode will be. If it's a little bit too short, well, then we'll go a little bit over next time. Alright, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Scarlet. But until then, bye-bye!